everybody, welcome back to the Cook Kitchen. We're at Helen's Bay Community Garden at the moment in Northern Ireland and it's a beautiful day, high summer's day and we want to pick some courgettes to make a really really incredible courgette recipe. So uh, we have a few uh, courgette plants here in the polytunnel as you can see. And with courgettes you have flowers and the courgette itself. And some people throw the flowers away, which is really a shame um, because they have a fantastic flavor and I'm going to use the flowers and the courgettes in a lovely pasta dish today. So stay tuned. Welcome back. As you can see, we've got a beautiful bounty of colorful courgettes here. All different sizes, different colors, really just amazing. Um, and we're not going to use all of them, but quite a lot, especially because uh, we're going to make a very special recipe. We're going to make um, ravioli with courgette flowers and ricotta filling and we're going to use the courgettes with the sauce in the end. Um, and as you can see, these courgettes are quite small. If you grow them yourself, um, they're quite small like this at the start and it can grow to this size. But I quite like using these, not only because the flowers are still intact, you can use the flowers, but the flavor of the small ones is really good. So to start the recipe, we'll first look at how to make your fresh pasta dough. So here are your ingredients for your homemade pasta. It's very simple. It's 100 grams of flour per person uh, and one egg. So this is for two people, so about 200 grams of flour, two eggs, and you'll just need a pinch of salt, of course, for flavoring. Now I'm using pasta flour, um, you could also use bread flour, but try to get good quality flour for pasta. So we're just going to put it in a bowl, add the eggs, add some salt, and then you just mix it until it forms quite a crumbly dough. And don't be alerted that this looks quite dry. You don't want it too wet. It will come together quite nicely. Once you've shaped your pasta dough into a rough ball, just put it on a work surface and knead it for one or two minutes, really. Hardly at all. Or not even, just a minute to get it nice and even. And then you put it into a container and put it in the fridge while we get started with the pasta filling. Now to the filling of our ravioli, we're going to use some um, ricotta cheese, which is quite, you know, off news in pasta filling, one egg yolk, um, eight courgette flowers, and just some salt and pepper for seasoning. So I'm just going to show you what to do with your courgette flowers. So you can just break them off here like this, and you can pretty much use everything except this bit in the middle, so just remove that and then you're fine. And I'm just going to chop these up quite roughly to mix into the ricotta. So my eight cordial flowers are nicely chopped here now. I'm just going to put them in a bowl here. Add the ricotta. Just a whole tub. It's 250 grams in here. Mix it up a bit and add the egg yolk. And I'll just mix it until it's nice and creamy. So this is what you end up with and you just want to season it with some salt and pepper. And then you can just put it in the fridge while we get started with the pasta uh, sheets for the ravioli. So we're now going to roll out our pasta dough. Um, just actually you can roll this out quite finely with your hands uh, up to the part where you have to use one of these pasta machines. You could use a rolling pin if you want to, um, but you probably couldn't get it as thin as with a pasta machine. These are quite handy, they're not too expensive. And really fantastic for making pasta so do invest in one of those if you're making pasta regularly but for the first part I'm just using my hands because I'm going to separate this into four parts which will make up four sheets of pasta for the ravioli 
Yeah, when you're done, um, just like sort of trying to shape it into a square, you can take a knife and cut it in four roughly even bits. You can take one bit and try to fold it into a square shape. That will run through the pasta machine a lot better. Just use one of these squares and on the low setting, put it through the machine. If you want, you can fold it over again. That will run through one more time. And then you just want to set it up a bit higher until it becomes really, really thin. So this is what you end up with, four um, sheets of pasta. And what we'll do now is take some of our filling and just place it about a tablespoon in the middle like this. And just cut out how much we want. And then we want to try to cut the same amount like this. Put some water on the sides so the dough will stick. And put the other sheet of pasta over it. And don't worry if it doesn't fit completely. What we can do now is first you try to get all the air out. And you can cut your pasta the way you want to. You can also use a fork and make it look all nice and pretty. And so we'll just continue doing this till all our little parcels are done. So I finished our ravioli parcels, they're really lovely, quite big, as you can see, really big and we'll probably only need two to three per person, so I'll probably just make six for tonight and leave two uh, in the fridge or the freezer and they can actually last for a while and you can use them again. Uh, but before I put them into the um, boiling water, I make a quick sauce. Uh, quite often in Italy you will have ravioli served with a butter and sage sauce. So I'm using butter as well and sage, but we have a few flowers left and when I wanted to use the courgettes. So I've just chopped them up. Well, I've actually sliced them, sliced them along finely um, and they should just go all into the pan and make a lovely nice sauce which will be topped over the pasta. So the butter's in the pan, warm it up. I'm gonna add the sage leaves and also the flowers and the courgettes and just wait for it to soften so it should be done in around five minutes and when it's almost done I'll add the pasta because that only needs one or two minutes. So the vegetables and the sage and all have been softening nicely and I'm now just going to add the ravioli into the water just one after another being careful Trying to move them aside a bit. And here's our finished dish. As you can see, I just put the butter sauce and the sage and the courgette and the courgette's flour over the ravioli and it's all nicely cooked. And when you cut in, it's all well done, nice and soft. I'll try a bit here with a bit of courgette. Mm. Mm. That is really good. And the taste of that courgette flour just goes through that whole dish, but it's not too strong. It's really quite subtle and nice and creamy. Really fantastic, subtle dish.